I'm not trying to that. like get naked in yeah. public. <laughs> they have no like chill on affection. They just show it wherever the hell they want. Oh my god, yeah, of yeah. course. Does she like me? Does she not like me? I could see why a German woman would take that the way that you would take yeah. it. That was definitely a big like turn on for me. Oh, yeah. like, that's definitely true. Yeah, and I could tell on that. Hello, servus, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Feli. I'm originally from Munich, Germany, but I've been living here in Cincinnati, Ohio, on and off since 2016. Today, I'm here with Ben again. Hello. Because in the boyfriend reveal video, I talked about having him react to the dating differences videos that I've done in the past. And you guys said, yes, you'd love to see that. So that's what we'll be doing today. I actually have two videos about this topic on my channel. One is all the way back from 2018 and one is from last fall, so 2021. So yeah, we'll see what you have to say about these and what it's actually like to date a German or just to date me. I got a lot to say. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> so we'll be watching the video down here on my laptop um, and we'll be listening to it on my Raycon everyday earbuds. We both have one in so that we can both hear it at the same time. These earbuds have been a game changer for me because I have really small ears. I don't know if you can see that. And wireless earbuds usually always fall out of my ears sooner or later. I mean like normal earbuds do too, but at least then they're on a wire and I don't completely lose them. So like, yeah, this happens especially when I move a lot or I talk and move my face a lot. And I had tried a few different brands that had the like in-ear kind of shape that you put like inside your ear, but nothing fully worked for me. They'd still always fall out and sometimes in the weirdest situations, like when I bend forward at the grocery store to pick up some produce or on the plane. I do spend quite some time on planes every year to go back home to Germany, but also on other vacations. And I'm someone who always gets comfy. I lay my head on my neck pillow and then I lean against the window and I like to have a podcast or some music on. And before I had my Raycons, my earbuds would always fall out and then I had to to look for it underneath my seat or even underneath other people's seats. So that was pretty annoying. But I've flown a few times with these now and I can assure you these are completely sleep proof. They have these optimized gel tips and at least for me, this is the only product that's worked so far. They haven't fallen out a single time because like, as you can see, nothing's moving even if I'm talking, <laughs> laughing, whatever, jumping. <laughs> I don't know what's it like for you, Ben. It's snug. It's yeah, comfy. Yeah. Here, not, show, show the yeah, side a little yeah. bit. Yeah. So it's Shake not, your head. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's it, my hair flops around, <laughs> but no, it's comfy. And they have a battery life of 32 hours and a playtime of eight hours. So even on long trips, I never have to worry about charging them. I also really like to use them when I go out on walks, which I do regularly. And I either call my friends or family in Germany then, which is super convenient with a built-in mic, or I listen to podcasts. And one feature that I really appreciate for that is the awareness mode, which allows you to hear more of your surroundings, even when you're listening to something at a high volume. It just makes me feel a lot more safe and in control of the situation, especially since I walk around alone usually. Plus, the Raycon Everyday Earbuds have amazing audio quality too, with over 48,000 five-star reviews, but you get these at half the price of other premium audio brands. So if you want to get yourself a pair, I can only recommend it. And a little tip, if you buy them through my link that's in the info box below, or go to buyraycon.com slash from Germany, you'll even get a whole 15% off your Raycon purchase. Okay, so now let's start the video. Let's do this. Today we'll be talking about something that I always get messages about from people that are like, hey, I've been talking to this German woman for a while, but she's acting like <laughs> this and I don't really know what that means. Can you help me? Or just straight up questions about what dating is like in Germany and if there are any differences. Now, I do actually have a video on this topic. I'll just link it up here and down below. It was one of my very first ones, so <laughs> it might be a little cringe to watch, but let me know if you'd want me to kind of make an updated video on that topic. But today I wanted to watch a video with you that I do remember seeing a few years ago, but then I totally forgot about it and honestly forgot about this channel too, but it recently popped up in my suggestions again. It's a video by the YouTube channel Dating Beyond Borders and the video is called You Know You're Dating a German... Okay, first off, yeah. I just want to talk about this thumbnail yeah, on this. Yeah, what about it? Because I think you said this in one of the videos, but like, that's the German woman. Yeah. He's the foreigner. Yeah. The German woman is all over the dude. Yeah. Because they have no <laughs> like chill on affection. They just show it wherever the hell they want to. Do you think that's true? Oh yeah, okay. 100%. Okay. I mean, there's definitely some places where it's not necessarily like Like whatever. in public, you mean? Yeah, or? in public, but like if it's a park yeah. or like restaurants, yeah. 
it's totally normal to yeah. see someone kissing or did, hugging or being just being a lot more affectionate than did you feel like you, s- you saw it more oh yeah yeah okay yeah oh yeah love, love the music, music. <laughs> no stereotypes whatsoever <laughs> you agree <laughs> they're drinking beer yeah, too at a bar it's kind of funny that like i reacted to that video now we're reacting to this video i don't even know how we're gonna do this in the we're, editing we're, we're reacting to you <laughs> my reaction your reaction <laughs> and the video though too it's, i don't know <laughs> it's like a parallel universe yeah <laughs> that's definitely no german beer i can tell you that because uh, no phone the bar and i wanted to come here and tell you that you're you're beautiful okay thank you i'm sebastian <laughs> You want to say something? <laughs> can't take a compliment. <laughs> like, Is that yeah, true? Well, you can't. They, Germans can't take. Well, I don't want to say. I don't. First of all, I don't want to stereotype. Yeah. Number one, I want to yeah. get that out there. But with this one, I definitely have had situations with you where, I, like, I'll say, like, "Oh, you look really good right now." And sometimes, like, you won't have the reaction that I expect you okay. to. Okay. I'm not like, like, "Oh, thank you." Yeah. It's sort of like. I'm like, I know. <laughs> yeah. Or it's like. Yeah. Exactly. I knew that. Or. It's like, why are you telling me that right now? Like, I don't know if that's like a German thing or if that's just me. I don't know. You think that's a German thing? Maybe. I don't know. It, it could be. From yeah. here, from what I just saw, it could yeah. be. Hannah. Hannah, nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, um, okay, you thank you. I'm from Germany. Germany, that's so great. No I hands, please. Friends, that... No hands, please. <laughs> no hands. No hands. If you don't know her, don't get too close and personal. Okay, so yes, I would say that this is spot on, and I don't think that it just applies to German women, but just to Germans in general. Yeah. I've talked about this a couple times before, maybe I'll make a whole video about it, but if you go with the peach and coconut theory, which I really like that theory, Germans are coconuts, whereas Americans, for example, are more like peaches. Meaning, it takes a while to crack the shell of a German, but once you've cracked it, once you've done it, you're in. Like, you're you're, you're their friend, you're part of their inner circle. Okay. And in real life, this stands for the fact that Germans don't usually get comfortable with strangers very quickly, as they stated in the video. Like, we don't get personal with people that we don't know, which is one of the reasons that we're not really into small talk. Like, you won't hear a German mom just tell the cashier at the store about her son's amazing soccer game today, for example. Whereas that's definitely something... Okay, I, I totally agree with everything that you're saying. Yeah. But at the same time, with you, I knew after a certain point that, like, we could get personal. Mm -hmm. The space wasn't necessarily a thing, like, that big of an issue because you showed me that you wanted... But with Americans, we're so hands-on all the time. Yeah. Like, we're buddy-buddy, slapping back, spilling drinks. Yeah. It's just what we do. And I don't know if... I haven't really had anything like this with, like another German because I've never tried to date another German yeah. but also even with like when you were in Germany and meeting all my friends and family they were already like you were already part of the family kind of yeah you never had to really meet a stranger in Germany I feel like yeah no and I mean granted I don't speak fluent German yeah. but like you said the small talk thing is not it's not existent in Germany yeah. Well, it is, but very seldomly. But also, I'm an English speaker. Yeah. So. But also, it gets a lot, a lot deeper very quickly. Like our small talk is just like deeper talk right away. Yeah. I feel like a lot of people when they met you, they were like, oh, so like, what's it like in Kentucky? They would get political right away. Yeah. Those yeah. kinds of things. They would talk like horses, like yeah. all these things about Kentucky that they knew. Like they would like right away get all their knowledge out kind yeah. of and get like a little bit deeper. Well, I think that also has to do with the fact that you know it's also your family. Yeah. But also. I think they're just so used to hearing that Americans like small talk yeah. and they kind of want to, I don't know if it's a feeling of being comfortable or if it's just the wel welcoming aspect of yeah, German society, which welcoming. I think honestly, the two times that I've been to Germany is a side that is not talked about a lot. I know we talk about the customer service aspect yeah. of it, but people really can be f friendly in a different way mm -hmm. in Germany than here in the US. Yeah. And we will talk about his first impressions of being in Germany because a lot of you guys asked, has he been to Germany yet? The answer is yes, he has been to Germany twice. Um, and we'll talk about his first impressions in a different video. Yes. That happens here in the US. So with Germans, there isn't a big soft area around the core like you'd find it with a peach. So a zone where Me even my peach. though you don't know someone yet, you're willing to share personal information with them. Americans are a lot more comfortable with that and it's kind of part of the culture here to open up Too to strangers to a certain mm -hmm. point. But then there's kind of a threshold further down the line where it'll be kind of tough to actually crack the core that comes after the soft part and become a close friend. And regarding the reaction to the compliment, uh, first of all, that was really funny how she just said, 
thank you. Um, and yeah, I've actually done that before too with the compliments. Or I mean, I've definitely like assimilated to the American culture, so I probably wouldn't react like that anymore. But I might still think to myself like, what do you want from me? I mean, it kind of depends on the situation too, of course. <laughs> yeah, I get yeah. a little suspicious. Yeah. Yeah. If you approach a German woman, you'll most likely get a much colder response than you would from an American or people from other cultures. I don't know if he's supposed to be Spanish or something, but yeah. That's not necessarily a bad thing though. Yeah. Am I wrong there? Like... No, like the suspicious part? Yeah. No, it just, I think it just can, can come off a little like um, impolite or like pushing someone away right away. Cause like in this situation, it's like at a bar, a stranger approaches a person, like a woman. Yeah. And it's definitely a lot easier in the US to flirt. Cause you okay. can just approach people. And I've heard a lot of people say this about Germany, that like when they're at a German club, they can't flirt with people, with women. Like, especially if it's like guys with women, because when they approach them, they're just like cold and like, leave me alone kind okay. of. Yeah. So in that case, it's like, it's not necessarily bad, but especially if the person kind of like tries to say something nice and then it's kind of like a, rough reaction yeah. they might feel thrown off by it but of course nobody owes anyone anything so like yeah, no, i'm not trying course. to say that like a woman yeah. owes them like a nice reaction or like even talking to them but i think it's just in some cultures it's so uncommon yeah but i mean where i was getting at with that is that like at least the dudes aren't wasting their times yeah th you know that's, what i mean yeah, and that's one good standing, thing yeah. with i i feel like with you even in just everyday life I don't have to beat around the bush to know what you want. Or <laughs> yeah. like, you just tell me. Like, yeah. and I love that part. That's one thing that I wish Americans would do a lot more. Yeah. And honestly, in dating, I wish people would just be more honest with it. Because I know personally with me and you, it took me a while to get used to. But now I prefer it that way because there's no beating around the bush like yeah. there is with everybody else here. Yeah. I've definitely talked about that in the 2018 video where I definitely said that like in German relationships and like dating I feel like there's like a much less ghosting for that reason also yeah. because we just like hey I don't think this is working and this is funny actually because in the last Understanding Train Station podcast episode with Josh we had his Australian roommate on and he told a story also about like dating Germans um, where like I think it was his friend who would go on date with German girls and at the end of the date they would be like hey so I'd like to see you again or like I, yeah I wasn't really feeling this I think we're done here yeah <laughs> and the yeah. Australian dude was pretty thrown off oh by yeah that. <laughs> I'm sure I, I mean if you're not used to that I'm sure you would be I mean if that happened to me I would be thrown off by yeah. it even now because but... an American would usually just be like oh yeah that was awesome great I'll text you tomorrow and then either they would just like the next day either ghost them or text them hey yeah no. yeah but even yeah. if they like even texting them that they weren't feeling it doesn't happen a yeah. lot Usually they'll just disappear on you yeah, or be like, yeah, out. let's do it again soon. I'm super busy this week though. And next week too. And then they'll try to make plans until it like fades until out. Until it fades out. Yeah. And it's just like an acquaintance yeah. rather than like a friend or someone you're interested yeah. in. Yeah. So, but like the other person that might still be interested never really gets a clear response. Yeah. They, they always just hear while well, I'm busy. And that sucks. Yeah. And that sucks. But I mean, it can be harsh either way. Yeah. But personally, since I've met you. Yeah the harshness of just telling me the truth is way easier than dealing with someone just ghosting me. Yeah, or like, or... and like figuring out what they're even saying, like kind of guessing what they're thinking. Yeah, you can't read minds. Yeah. And yeah. with you, I know I don't have to do that. Yeah. And like, I know just through everyday talk with other Germans, I know I don't have to pry their yeah. heads to understand what they're thinking. In general, Germans are usually a little skeptical when they're approached by a stranger because you always kind of think like, what do they want from us? Are they trying to sell me something? So if I were to share some advice here, I would probably say don't be too pushy with a German woman. Like give her your number and then just leave her alone if she doesn't seem like she wants to talk right now. And if she's interested, she'll probably reach out later. But also if a German woman gives you just a slight sign of interest, you kind of just have to multiply that in your head to compare it to an American woman. Did that make sense? Okay, yeah, so little in German, uh, ein bisschen yeah, in bisschen, German yeah. is a whole hell of a lot in America. Yeah. So like, I, is, do you think that's more of a cultural thing? or what Yeah, that's think? definitely a cultural thing. Okay, I, I don't see how just showing affection is so much different. It, I think yeah. it's not just affection, because we do that with everything. It's even with like words, how like when a German says that that was pretty good, they mean that was pretty good. Whereas when an American says that about like a school project, yeah, that's a pretty good project, they mean like 
Yeah, it's, it's not like that mediocre. great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, okay. I've heard I you say just... that. I've heard you say that before. Yeah. German pretty good is a American just... like Hell yeah, good job. Yeah, it's because we're, we take everything so literally. Yeah. So like yeah. when we, we mean exactly what we're saying, yeah. there's no like room for interpretation kind yeah. of. That's well, good. And I think it's the same with affection yeah. in a way. So like if I say, yeah, I'd like to call you tomorrow, but I'm not like overly like, oh my God, yeah, of yeah. course. Then when I, if I say that, then I mean it. I mean, yeah. I mean like, yeah, I'd like to call you tomorrow. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Good. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking good. I'm gonna grab a beer. Do you want a beer? Yeah, you want a beer. Excuse me, can we get two beers, please? Okay, that's not right anywhere. Do yeah. not order food or anything for your woman if she she can do it herself. It's yeah, fine. If she wants you to do it, that's fine. But like, ask. Yeah, don't do that with anyone. Don't do that yeah. with a guy either, or a non-binary person, or anyone. Like, yeah, no. <laughs> but also, since they're ordering beer, this is one that I, I don't know if you talk about this. I haven't seen this full video yet. Yeah. But understand what fest beer is. <laughs> It's stronger. <laughs> okay, so like that's the beer that will serve at Oktoberfest, for example, or any other kind of beer festival. Or like we went to this one in August um, in Dachau, and the Fest beer is just like stronger beer. And we warned them a little bit, but how many must did you have? Four. four. So four whole liters. <laughs> yeah, I was. <laughs> and he was not trained for that German beer. Yes, yeah, so it was a fun ride home, but. <laughs> It, uh, we made it through. It was a good time. Yeah, we went on a hike the next day. Yeah, so you were fine. <laughs> yes. She wants to be seen as an equal. Yes. Be, be careful equal. making decisions for her. Yes, this is definitely true too, at least for me 100%. and I think most other German women too. I do like to be seen as an equal, which is also why I don't always enjoy the chivalry here in the US, for example. I mean, I know that it's always meant well and it can definitely be nice when someone opens the door for you, but I feel like Americans overdo it a little bit sometimes. Like for example, when they insist that you don't get out of the car until they've gotten out and then they run around and open the door for you. Or like same with like opening regular doors, they're like, no, wait, 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 I'm gonna run ahead and then open the door for you and then wait for you to walk through, which I could have just, oh, okay. those things have all happened to me okay before. yeah i mean i think that's a little bit different where you're at i can't speak for like new englanders yeah, or whatever yeah. but like in the south where i'm from in kentucky like there's this idea of a southern gentleman but and even with midwest too yeah in the midwest yeah. and you know it's we, d we don't mean anything by it i could see why a german woman would take that the way that you would take yeah. it so was that like a pretty new thing for you then that you weren't doing those things anymore? Because you were probably taught all those things too. To yeah, I mean, definitely, to a certain stuff. extent, definitely. Yeah. And then I, I know that I said something about yeah, it. Yeah, you said at something. One point. I mean, well, yeah, you said something right at the beginning, which, like I said earlier, yeah. I'd rather know those things. Yeah. It's all, it, at the end of the day, it has to do I with I think I just went, them. like, hey, just so you know, you don't have to open a court. Yeah, for me. exactly. Which I respected yeah. that. Like, I honestly, that's less work for me, yeah. number one. <laughs> but two, like, at the end of the day, it's just respecting a boundary yeah and um yeah it's just the whole southern gentleman just being old school i don't yeah. know what it is but was that weird for you not doing that anymore did that not, feel like new or like no not really okay. because like it just you told me not to and yeah, that okay. just felt i felt like i was doing what you wanted me to do yeah. and if, if you're happy i'm happy yeah so like <laughs> one of those things that i i do think you do that sometimes actually just like out of habit yeah. and i don't really have a problem uh -oh. with that but that's something that i like wasn't aware of before i came to the us that was even a thing was that i feel like guys here are taught that when they're walking and especially holding hands with a girl on the sidewalk that the girl needs to be on the inside so like not yeah. on the street side of the sidewalk yeah. and i think you know sometimes do that even that you just like make a switch yeah if i'm on the do, wrong side i don't of do the it I, I, most of the time i don't do it on purpose <laughs> yeah but like you know Sometimes I might think of it and just yeah. do it. Do you know where that comes from? T just to keep me safe? No, it, well, this is what I've heard. So if I'm wrong, <laughs> tell me. But it, if there's like rain on the street and a car comes by, the dude takes the Oh, so I don't get splashed. Splash. Okay, yeah. yeah. That Actually, yeah. that makes a lot of yeah. sense. Yeah, so. Okay. Yeah, so. yeah, maybe I'll go along with that. I mean, from I'm now putting on. my body on the line here. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, just in general, like, I do think that in relationships in Germany, it's more common that the woman is always an equal. And, yeah. like, I didn't experience it a lot in Germany that, like, guys actually did these things. Like, yeah, sometimes, like, your boyfriend will carry your bag for you if you say something about it, yeah. but they're not really going to be as, like, 
pushy about it. That's not the yeah. right word, but I feel like some guys in the U.S. are a little pushy yeah, like it's over it. the top. Almost. L- yeah, yeah, a where it's like, like you're a going too much. It's like you're going out of your way, dude. <laughs> like, like I stop. can walk by myself. Like, don't thank break you. your back. <laughs> yeah, please. But okay, let's keep watching. Right. Just open it myself. <laughs> Sometimes it even makes me feel a little patronized because I kind of feel like. I'm a big Patronized. girl. I That's can do that myself. Word. Thank yeah. you very much. So yeah, if someone had just ordered for me without waiting for my response, like in this scene, I would have definitely felt like that and I would not have been happy. What if I did that on our first date? Order for me? Yeah. Yeah, I would have been like, dude, <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I don't know how long it would have lasted. <laughs> hey, do you want to hang out? Hey, do you want to hang out sometime? Yes, tomorrow at 19.35, we meet at Hemingway's at the front entrance. Very specific. There is definitely no vagueness when making plans. Is that true? Yeah, yeah. (laughs) And do not, if you make plans, do not skip out on them. You can cancel them, but you have to give, like, a A notice notice in advance. It can't be, like, ten minutes after you were supposed to do something. It can't be, like, oh, like... Yeah, I know we were supposed to hang out 30 minutes ago, but uh, I can't make it anymore. Like, that doesn't work. You have to say it in advance. Yeah. I mean, that also has to do with sincerity. And I don't know where in the United States that kind of, like... A lot of people, because I have mentioned this before in in several videos, and I feel like a lot of people are commenting that that's a generational thing, which, like, might be true. But, I mean, I'm comparing this generation in the U.S. to this generation in Germany, and it's definitely not a thing at this generation in Germany, so... But I feel like I don't do it that much anymore. Like, I feel like my plans are not as precise anymore yeah. as they used to be when I actually lived in Germany. I've always been more like the laid back German. Like, I'm usually 15 minutes late, which is pretty late for a German. Um, but I think I've even gotten a little bit more relaxed yeah. with this in the US. So when I make plans with someone, like a friend on the weekend to like go out to the bars, I know that there is like a two hour window basically. If we say that we're gonna probably go around nine, then it's probably, it's unlikely that's gonna be earlier than that, but I'm usually, <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to be like ready for them to like get in contact with yeah. me in between like eight and 10. See, probably. the thing that like it was different for me is that my friends, we always kind of just wing it. We don't really have a plan. Yeah. But we'll text each other an hour before mm-hmm. we just all randomly meet and we'll be mm-hmm. like, yo, this place nine o'clock at yeah. night and we'll all be there at nine we'll all be there punctual but we'd never really had a plan yeah it was just wing it yeah well germans definitely like to have plans like germans are known for that oh, yeah. for like planning things out weeks in advance and then also though like and this is good with you you're actually more punctual than i am yeah so i mean that's one thing that like i'm very I, i'm a stickler with punctuality yeah. but at the same time the plan thing Kind Not of. so much. I, yeah, I, I admittedly I have to that I've had to work on that a little bit. Yeah. With, since I've because I would her. always like to know like what time should I be done with work? What time should I come over? Or, yeah. Like, when are we gonna do? And are we gonna get food or no? Should I eat before? Like I kind of like like to plan out my day accordingly to what we have planned later, yeah. kind of. Yeah. And I feel like a lot of Americans don't really do that usually. Uh, no. It's like, it's... maybe you'll get food, maybe you won't. And then I'm la- like, if we do end up getting food and I already ate before, then I'll be mad. Then I'll be like, I thought we weren't going to get food. Now I already ate. Yeah. But I mean, it's also <laughs> just like a car society. If you're yeah. 15 minutes away from everything. Yeah. You're just more but, flexible. Yeah. You're more yeah. flexible. Yes. That's true for all Germans, I think. We like to know exactly what we have planned and when. And this also means that you kind of need to make sure to cancel a plan early enough when you're not up for it anymore. You can't just pull off what Americans yes. do a lot where the plan was kind of vague enough that they just text you right before that they can't make it anymore, unfortunately. Or sometimes they just don't that say anything all the time. At all. Yeah. Oh no! Oh no, she's, she's waiting. waiting. Don't uh, make yeah. her wait. Just oh, no. don't. <laughs> yes, I think this is also very true. I'm personally not the most punctual German. I'm usually a few <laughs> minutes late myself. As but you said. I think in this regard, I'm very German. Like, of course, I don't get mad when someone just lets me wait for like a few minutes because I kind of do that to them too because I'm not super punctual. But if you're like very late and don't tell me, or if like you already know ahead of the plan that you're probably not going to make it on time and you don't tell me, before I leave, like you're not letting me know that I could have just stayed at home for longer, that really pisses me off. And I think this is just because it kind of makes us feel like the other person is wasting our time and we could have spent that yeah. time with yeah, something else. Yeah, I mean, else. like we were saying earlier about like the ghosting thing. Yeah. 
it just seems like common decency. Yeah, it's just I don't know yeah. like how it's gotten to that, <laughs> but here we are. It does happen a lot in the it, U.S. Yeah. And they're not respectful enough to keep us informed about that. Many millionaires are moving out of European countries. Do you think it's really the end of European Union after only 23 years? Oh gosh, that's yeah, yeah. way too totally see that happening to card of a topic. Oh, I know. The European Union. It I hope not. Most likely happen. Develop your own opinion and know how to hold your own to impress her. <laughs> this is a big one. This is a really big one. I'm serious. Like, if you're going to talk, like we were talking about earlier with small talk, if, mm. if you're going to talk, have something to say with a German. They don't want, they don't really have the time, number one. They don't have... I don't want to say they don't have the patience. A little, though. That's but, true. Yeah. yeah. We don't really have yeah. patience for, like, nonsense talk. Yeah. And I know with you, the the bond that we had, unlike, I don't want to say superficial American relationships, where it's just about, like, looks or, like, all this other partying and all this other stuff. I know the first date that we had, we sat down and had a, like, conversation <laughs> about things we cared about. Yeah. And I was like, for me, that was awesome because mm -hmm. I love having those talks but I've never really had that on a first date. Mm -hmm. And it kind of caught me off guard. Mm -hmm. And I mean, apparently it was a good talk because yeah. here we are. But I feel like this is also very true with like, when you did meet my friends and family in Germany. That's what yeah. I meant earlier, how like it just, it gets to like all this knowledge that people have. Like you suddenly just start, even though you just met two minutes ago, you just start talking about the European Union, oh, politics, yeah. religion, like yeah. those topics are not off topic and, and at all. That's what an amazing thing was that I first learned when I met you, but especially when I met your family, is that you're not gonna make them mad to a point where they're not gonna talk to you yeah, anymore. Yeah. So if you have your own opinion, and you tell them your opinion, they're gonna be fine, unless and it's completely like, outlandish. Yeah, but I feel but, like they're gonna be like, oh, why do you think that? Or like, they're gonna ask your reasoning, yeah. and they kind of like to um, see all the different arguments, yeah. like the different um, sides to yeah. things. So yeah, this is definitely very true. Yeah, That was a little bit too much for me to read, but yes, I can definitely confirm that this is true too. Just overall, you'll hear a lot more serious topics in German social life than you do here in the US. Like even at parties in Germany, yeah. you might hear people talk about religion or politics, which are two of the biggest taboo topics here in the US, especially if you don't know the person very well. But yeah, Germans like to talk about real things. We enjoy that much more than small talk. Talk. Don't talk religion and politics on Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. Don't do it. That ruins families it in the ruins US. Families. <laughs> this country in the world is the Vatican City. You didn't know it was a country because it's it's, its own nation state. <laughs> it's it's kind of crazy. But then you have uh, Nepal that also doesn't have a country that's a, a perfect rectangle. The Vatican City has a perfect square as a rectangle. Do you know Switzerland has a perfect square for a flag? It's kind of crazy. Just talking about that Vatican like, State? Talking about yeah, politics, technology, uh, or current affairs can be a huge turn on for them. Okay, um... Okay. I think okay, that's very affairs. true. I thought he was rambling. <laughs> yeah, he was in the video, but that's what they were trying to, okay, to show. Okay, but no, I see, I see, I see what they're saying. But, now, but... that was a big thing with you, because yeah. you know a lot. I would personally say that I am an intelligent, smart woman, but I don't necessarily always have the biggest knowledge on things, even if I do read a lot about it, or even if I've looked it up like 10 times, or if I've watched like five documentaries about this one topic, I am not very good at like remembering all these facts. I will remember that there was something along those lines and there was some connection here and then I will remember where to look that up again. But you're one of those people that like remembers all those facts and all these little details yeah. and you just you just have a lot of knowledge. Yeah, and I really like I'm, that about you. To sum it up, I'm really good at trivia. Like <laughs> yeah. really good and at I trivia. And I suck at trivia. <laughs> yeah. I make up for it. <laughs> so like that was definitely a big like turn on for me. Oh, yeah. Like that's definitely true. Yeah, I mean I and I could tell on that. Like that was the <laughs> thing. I could tell on that. And it yeah. kind of like honestly made me more attracted to you because I could tell that you liked whenever we engaged on these talks yeah. that really like told you who I was. Mm -hmm. It's not some like who I am on Instagram or who yeah. I am on whatever. That doesn't matter. It's then and there and what's going on up here. Yeah. So I would say that's probably true, yeah. Yeah. I don't really have a lot of other thoughts on that, but <laughs> <laughs> I think I would agree. You don't have thoughts on something? What? <laughs> That's an interesting shirt. Didn't you have time to change? <laughs> and I really like your hair. It's so curly. But don't you think it's time to get a new haircut? Whoa. I don't think she's actually German based on her accent. She is downright honest. Sometimes it's highly discouraging. Okay, so the honesty part is 100%. Okay. She has no problem telling me whenever I play too many video games. 
None. No, but this is true. You can't get too hurt. I will say this. I am more emotional than like a lot of, I feel like a lot of my friends. Mm-hmm. I don't want to say a lot of American dudes, but yeah. I'm just a little bit more of an emotional dude. Yeah, you're sensitive. Yeah, I'm yeah. sensitive. I like, like that. <laughs> yeah. And it this took me a while to get like used to yeah. because again, Americans beat around the bush. Mm. I would kind of disagree with the downright discouraging part yeah, because you're good. not that, that personally you you're not like that yeah. and I wouldn't ever expect you to be like that yeah. but yeah so I just really hope that I don't do that a lot when I wasn't asked for my opinion because that's what I really don't like yeah. and I feel like that's kind of a negative German trait because that's like a cultural thing that a lot of Germans do not everyone of course but like it happens a lot that like people walk up to you even strangers in the street and they'll just like be like hey you can't walk in the bike lane or don't you know how this works? Like, they kind of like just walk up to a stranger, they have no threshold and just like criticize them. Yeah, and also I was the guy walking in the bike lane whenever <laughs> I went to Germany and Feely just grabbed me by my arm and was like, get over here. And yeah, you, you, that's why you didn't have that bad experience because I know a lot of tourists have Yeah, but I, I mean, Germany. I know I, I'm lucky in that right that I have yeah. you and me personally, I don't want to be the tourist that looks like a tourist. Yeah. To get back to the honesty part though, it's definitely true. Yeah. And it's definitely something that you had to get used to with me. Oh, yeah, 100%. That. But also at the same time, though, you have to keep in mind that I'm already Americanized. Like, I'm already not as bad about that anymore as Germans in Germany, probably. Yeah, so. I I couldn't imagine. <laughs> I'm on the light version. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't imagine. And anybody that finds a German that isn't Americanized a little bit, I pray yeah. for you. I'm but kidding. I, That's I a also joke. don't think my friends and family did that a whole lot with you. I know no, they were they honest, they but like all. not in a criticizing way. Yeah, no, not at all. Yeah. I, I mean, there was definitely, like you said earlier, we'd be talking about religion and yeah. politics and stuff like that, and there was definitely some curveball answers that I wasn't expecting. Yeah, like kind of Where controversial was, questions or like yeah, tough questions. Yeah, and yeah. as an American, like if you talk about those things, some people will kind of like they'll agree with you to like not have confrontation con- yeah. or conflict. And the good thing about like with you or your family is that the conflict never becomes like real conflict it's yeah. just a conversation honesty can come out as judgment but it's important not to take it that way in germany yeah. i feel like okay so the honesty part is 100 percent true um the discouraging part i don't know i guess it kind of depends yeah, on the actual person yeah. and how much you can take as the person on the receiving end i personally don't like it when people just share their opinion on personal things without being asked there's definitely a lot of germans who do that like in this example for example but personally i feel like there's a difference between honesty and criticizing others without being asked for your opinion. So yeah. I personally am definitely honest, but I don't try to just criticize others if it's not my place, if that makes sense. But yeah, if you start a conversation with me about a topic- Americans are bad about that too, though. Really? Yeah, yeah. I mean- I feel like it happens a lot less in the US. I feel like the US is much more like, mind your own business and don't get involved in other yeah. people's business if yeah. you weren't asked for yeah. it. Yeah, I agree with that. <laughs> like, I don't think that an American would have ever been like, yeah, I think you need to get a haircut, or what did she say about the shirt, I think? Uh, what was the other thing that she it's said? wrinkled or yeah. something like that. Like, yeah. I don't think an American would ever just say that. Yeah, no. Out of no, nowhere. but like, in terms of like, religion or something yeah, like that's that, true. an American will definitely say something yeah, like that. Yeah, if it's that. about like, abortion. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly, like that's that. what I was yeah. saying, like an yeah. American would definitely say that. Yeah. And that's, true. in terms of dating, that could literally cost you a relationship. That's true. So, yeah, so it's true, but if, as long as you stay superficial, it's not really an issue that you'll run into with Americans. Yeah. But then once it goes into religion or politics, those are the two difficult topics in this country, yeah. then it might change. Yeah, it's yeah. also a reflection of the times too, mm-hmm. so. Topic, you will get my true opinion. Or if you ask me if the new pants look good on you, yes, I'll be honest about it. Do these pants look good on me? <laughs> they do. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Get a room. Easy, we're in a public place. <laughs> On the plus side, if she likes you, you will definitely know it. Yes, that's definitely true. Okay, yeah, that's true. Yeah. I, I don't know if you've never done anything like over the top like that. Not like that. No, I'm not trying to like that. get naked in yeah, public. Yeah, <laughs> no. But a kiss in public or like yeah. just, you know, just don't holding hands that's a big one like mm-hmm. holding hands um i saw people holding hands all over europe compared mm-hmm. to here yeah. like you don't ever see that i saw old people like i don't want to say old people Old-er. older couples <laughs> um holding hands and it was the cutest thing ever mm-hmm. 
And especially for me, because I'm an American in a European city, just absolutely romantic in my mm. mind. And I just see this old European <laughs> couple walking down the street and I'm like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> so, but I think that's true, right? Like, if she likes you, you'll know. Because just like we talked about, you'll know exactly where you stand with them either way. If anything, for me, it was, I w whenever we first, I mean, and you can attest to this, I, I knew you liked me, but I was so used to, like, being kind and whatever i could i didn't even notice the signals mm, yet okay so yeah. and you, just, you thought i was just being polite and yeah like, and i was trying friendly. to be polite too mm -hmm. and i and then once it caught on it caught on <laughs> so yeah but like i want to say and i i think i'm right with that that you never really had to wonder what how i felt about you like you didn't have to guess like does she like me does she not like me Am I interpreting this wrong? Like, no, no, I didn't have to. But yeah. if anything, it was more on my end yeah. because like the Southern gentleman mm -hmm. aspect that we were talking about earlier, like I liked you and I knew I liked you and I didn't want to like rush into something or, mm -hmm. you know, screw it up. And it almost got to a point where I couldn't see the, I was You were too um, used to the American way that you didn't even know that I was actually being genuine. Yeah. Is that what you mean? Almost, you couldn't be sure if I actually meant what I was yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah. I almost couldn't see if the affection was genuine yeah. so that I could return affection. Yeah. And also that's a reflection of just how the situation that men are in today. You just yeah. don't want to get into a situation that you Where don't want to be in. Too much. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so maybe I was wrong with that then, but I, th I think I was always straightforward with you and I was always like, oh, I like you, I want to see you again. Yeah. Right? Like, yeah, from... from you knew that. Yeah, from... Oh, I knew it from the first date on, yeah, but from the yeah. second date on, I knew, like, okay. Yeah, like, okay. She... So, because you just made it sound like there was some guessing going on, and I think I was just very straightforward with you. Yeah, yeah. About, like, everything. I think, like, what I wanted, my my views on things, yeah. and, like, what I was looking for, like, yeah. dating-wise and yeah. things like that. I think I was just... Yeah, very... and you were out, out yeah. You were, yeah, you were up front with that. Yeah. So. <laughs> Good. <Cool. laughs> True, and not just that, but I think in general, Germans are pretty honest when it comes to dating, at least compared to Americans. Like, we usually just let the other person know where they stand with us. Yeah, that's basically so, what we've been yeah. saying the whole video. You don't have to guess video. if the German woman likes you or not. You'll know. She'll most likely just straight up tell you anyways. <laughs> okay, so this was a little bit longer than we had thought, so we're not gonna watch the other dating video from 2018 this time. We'll just do that in a separate video, because um, I think I talked about a few other aspects in that video too. But is there anything else from your side for now that you would like to add about what it's like to date a German girl or woman? Um, yeah, a few. <laughs> so, for not just for like if you're dating a German woman or if you're dating anybody from another country and you're an American, Try to make the effort to at least learn a little bit of German. Yeah, I could, be, I admittedly could be a lot better at it. But I will say this: as an American going to another country, if I knew one word in German, people were in, were impressed, impressed. Yeah. <laughs> because they don't think Americans know any languages. So. Which is kind of true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's like with every nationality. Like yeah. if you're dating someone who has a different first language than you, I think that's something that you asked me very early on. Um, make an effort to learn their mother language because it it'll sh it'll let them meet a whole other side of them so like for example right now since you're not fluent in german yet i think you will be at some point um there is like a part of my personality that you can't really experience because i'm a little bit different in german and when i'm in the German culture. Um, and I know that that's the case with other people too. I've, I've heard other people say the same thing. So like, if you fully want to know that person on all levels, then you have to make an effort to learn their first language. And then the last thing that I was going to say is be ready to be active. You're not... <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one, yes. Yeah, yeah. you're not... For me, I, I am a homebody, admittedly. <laughs> I will sit at home and play video games, watch TV, do on the computer all day but she loves to go out walking hiking being outside and I do too don't get me wrong I just like to exercise my thumbs a little but bit but it's more. also not just me it's like when we went to Germany like you saw everyone oh, yeah. in the summer like yeah. be on their bikes at the lakes like the first day you came you arrived like in the morning <laughs> you were super jet lagged you had traveled for hours that day my family and I we made you go on a walk go on a bike ride swim in the lake play ping pong yeah I was thrown <laughs> through the gauntlet to yeah. say the very least so that's definitely true and like for example we said that just today because we went to like a big 
uh, what do you call that? Like a, there was a Kroger there and a Target and a lot of other yeah. stores like right next to each other and a big parking lot, like one of these super American big parking lots. <laughs> and we parked at Target first. We walked into Target, get some stuff there, walked back to the car, drove within the parking lot to park in front of Kroger, even though that was like just a few stores over. Like, yeah, it would have been like maybe a three minute walk, but the American way of doing this is like driving over there, parking in front of the next door, going inside. Whereas like the German in me is just like, if if it's not like a 20 minute walk or longer, you walk. That's your first <laughs> yeah, choice. Yeah, no, I see, I see the <laughs> rationale, but it's easy. It's, that's just a cultural difference. And like, don't get me wrong. I have adapted to the American yeah. way now too, but like that's definitely something that like when we were in Germany, if it was walkable, we'd walk yeah. it always. That yeah. was like normal. And that's just the German way of doing things. So yeah, that's a good point of like being yeah. active. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well with that, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, if you have anything to add or disagree with what we said or have different experiences with these things, let us know in the comments below. And of course, if you like my channel, if you wanna support me and us, um, hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up. You can also hit the super thanks button to actually support me monetarily. Or you can also support me on Patreon, join the Patreon family or on buymeacoffee.com and if you want to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, all the socials and I hope I'll see you next time or we'll see you next time. We. Oui. <laughs> Cheers. Right. Cheers.